and welcome to my room tour. If you're not new here, I'm sorry that this took forever. I literally started this project in like November, early November, mid-November, and it's now March and I just now finished. My room has been mostly done for months. I was just waiting to finish this one wall piece and I didn't want to film the tour without it and now it's finally done so then some other things happened and it took me forever to film the tour but anyway if you're not new here welcome you should probably watch this video first because that's where I did a lot of the DIY and all that jazz but yeah overall I'm very happy with how my room turned out and I hope that you all enjoy it let's get started Now yes, I know this does look like a complete trash pile. Trust me, this is why I wanted to redo my room. Part of the reason why is because when I came back from college, I was not expecting to live with my parents for as long as I did, which is now going on two years, and so I wanted the space to be actually functional, which it definitely was not in this state. There were a few main things I wanted to address, namely not having storage for anything that I actually used, not having a functional workspace, and just the fact that the aesthetics, you know, were that Paris theme from when we were all in high school, and I don't want to really want to think about that anymore. Starting off in the corner behind the door, I moved the shelf from the other side of the room just because I didn't really love it and so I figured if it was hidden behind the door, almost no one would see it. And right now I'm just using it to store some extra books, a couple decorations, and some like vitamins and stuff. As you'll begin to see throughout this tour, dead plants is kind of a theme, so obviously that lavender is fake because, yeah. If you remember my DIY video, I had a lot of fun painting these frames. Moving on to this area over by the door, there used to be my bookcase here and I instead put this rocking chair. I have this little tray table behind that I use when I work from home. I already had these two things hanging, they're not new, I just moved them and now they look much better because they actually fit with the rest of the theme of the room. I've had this cushion since college and I'm happy I actually found somewhere to put it. This mirror doesn't actually function as a mirror, but I just think it's cute and wanted to put it somewhere. I got this cool ass table off Wayfair for like 70 bucks, which was kind of a rip off, but I honestly love it, so I don't really care. It's currently being used just as a side table for when I sit at the rocking chair and to hold more fake flowers. My desk area is probably one of my favorite spaces that I redid. I'm so happy that my computer is no longer facing the door because I always felt really uncomfortable whenever my parents would walk by and I had my door open and they could see what I was doing. Not that it was ever anything bad, but it just feels weird when people can always see what you're doing. Anyway, so I had these shelves. My dad and I built them. Um, they're just being used to hold more books. If you'll remember in my last video, my dad and I also made that little caddy that I'm using to store various electronics, pens, pencils, notebooks, all of that stuff and I also am just kind of going to turn this into a gallery wall but it, I don't have enough prints yet so. This furniture piece was kind of a last minute addition. I needed something to hold stuff from my desk because my desk has never had any storage, it doesn't have any drawers or anything, and also I took out the white built-in that was over there so I had even less storage space and so this is just being used to hold some art supplies, some books, some random electronics, and I just think the top looks really cute. I love my little bee apothecary glasses. And then of course the other frame that I painted is sitting here because I love frames sitting on tables. As is very obvious, I have filmed this at two different times because the books change and I just use that to store the next books that I'm going to be reading. Next to my bed I have this little basket that I use just to put things that I don't really want out. This wall piece on the left wall is what took so long to finish making. You'll see it better at night. And then this is a fun little dried wreath that my boyfriend got me. I'm using the same comforter that I had at school because there was literally no point in getting a new one even though the beds are different sizes, I still like it, so sustainability. This rug 
This is the second rug that I tried in this room. The first one I also liked, but it smelled so bad for so long, it literally would not air out at all, ever. And so I just got a new one. And then I ended up liking this pattern better, so I'm actually completely okay with it, even though it is a little bit big. This far corner over here is actually one of the first places that I had set up and I'm happy that I moved the bookcase over here because I think I like to see the books as soon as I walk in and it makes the entrance much less crowded. Yes, that is another dead plant because why not? And another dead plant right there. This just has other decorations, this cool cat vintage antique statue that I got from a vintage store. That basket my aunt got me on one of her trips. I have a map from one of my favorite book series, a little painting that I copied from Pinterest, and then of course all of my books and my salt lamp, which I threaded through the back of the bookcase and into the outlet. And then of course the stool thing, storage caddy, whatever the hell you call those things that my mom and I recovered. And then of course I have some ivy above the closet door because why not? Cottage core. Am I right ladies? As much as I'm really happy with my room during the day, I think it looks even better at night. This is the wall piece that my dad and I built that took forever. It has these color changing LED lights in it and we poured this silvery resin in it and it looks so cool. It looks like a river on fire and I'm super happy with it and I love this lamp too that I got from Target. Then of course over in the corner I have my salt lamp which looks good sitting on the two books. Really helps with the kind of, you know, dark academia reader ambiance. Not that that was what I was going for. And then over here in the corner I have one of these color changing lights on the ground. So whatever mood I'm in I can change that whole corner to match. Very cool. Alright, my camera battery's dying, so this has to be fast. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna try to make more consistent videos. I say that every single time and then I don't. But anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.